Good morning, sweet friends, and happy Sunday. I am up. It is 7.30 in the morning, and I'm headed to H-E-B. I actually made a grocery list this week, which I haven't done since March. So I got my grocery list. I'm headed to H-E-B to buy a few groceries, and I'll take y'all along with me. Back here on the back road, you can see how quickly spring has sprung. The trees are full now of leaves and look so much better than that drabby winter dead look they had for so long. Headed into H-E-B to buy my weekly grab my groceries. Didn't get a whole lot, but I did get a little bit of things that I need for the week. I think my grocery bill is going to come in at around $47.50. I'm going to head to the checkout. I topped off my tank. I didn't need a full tank of gas at all. I just got gas before I left on vacation, but I didn't want to top it off and start my week with a full tank. So gas here in South Texas is $3.69 a gallon, and I just spent $31.65. And I'm back. So I'm home now, and I have everything laid out here with the prices, so I can share those with you. I did pick up a 32 count of Dasani water four dollars 88 cents that is still in the car so it's it's too bulky and i don't feel very good i don't know if y'all can tell but my allergies are um not doing very good so there's that i did get some um vegetables i got some uh, tomatoes these two were 34 cents i got me a, a salad i see my dressing has come open so i'll just throw that away and use use dressing that i already have here three dollars 27 cents picked up a bag of grapes these were a dollar 98 a pound so five dollars five cents for a big bag of grapes bananas these were a dollar 17 i think they were like a 48 cents a pound picked up some broccoli florets 50% off, so $1.39. I do always try to find deals. Y'all know um, these are good. I'll put them in my Tupperware Fridge Smart, and they'll be good for at least a week, if not maybe two weeks. So that is a good buy. Anytime I can find stuff that is on clearance that is still good, I always try to buy that. Got some nacho cheese uh, while I was out on uh, vacation. My daughter and granddaughter stayed here and my granddaughter was looking for some nacho cheese. I did not have any, so I wanted to have this on the shelf for her in case she gets to come back over. She likes to eat nacho cheese with her Takis. Got some bagels, $2.48. I did go ahead and buy the HEB brand. It is considerably cheaper, almost a dollar twenty cheaper than the Thomas brand. Some whipped sour cream for my bagels. Nope, whipped cream cheese rather for my bagels. Two dollars and ninety four cents. Some strawberry syrup. This was two forty seven. I do buy these. I buy these Belgium waffles at Costco and that strawberry syrup is delicious on them. Some spray starch, $1.67. Guys, I used to starch and iron everything that I wore, but I have really kind of gotten away from that, but I did need uh, to re-up. So I do still iron quite a few things but i don't iron near as much as i used to trash bags for the restroom a dollar 28 you get 12 of these they had the bigger roll that comes like in the the plastic and it was quite a bit but all they had was colors and none of the colors matched the bathroom so i i skipped on that i just got that 12 count they had their hostess products two for five dollars so 250 each these were originally um three dollars 12 cents each so 250 i got cupcakes 
and zingers. I got those because I had a message left on the refrigerator saying next time I go out of town to make sure that I have better snacks. And uh, so that was funny. 12 pack of Coke, $6.76. gallon of whole milk. This was $3.94. And I believe that is it. I did stop at Lowe's. We have been working on um, the push mower. And so I did get some oil and a spark plug. So $6.98 for the spark plug and $8.49 for the oil. So those are for the push mower trying to get that one going here's the grocery list i did finally do one i literally had not made a grocery list since april the i mean since march 27th and i didn't even use it so i'm gonna get back in the swing of things and before that it was 3 13. so I'm going to get myself gathered back together and get on the ball. I kind of fell off a little bit. I was doing a lot of work outside. I did a kitchen a refresh. Um, if you haven't watched that video and you want a little bit of organization, cleaning, um, motivation, you can check that out. I did the kitchen and then as soon as spring sprung, I was outside and I redid my porch. So I can link both of those videos at the end of this one you can go check those out if you haven't saw them yet but uh for this grocery haul like i told y'all in the store i did expect to spend 47 dollars and 50 cents i do keep track as i am there in the shore store i do it in whole dollar amounts or, or 50 cent intervals depending on what makes sense so you see some of them are 250 250 that was those hostess which i could have just done for five dollars i guess anyway so i expected to spend 47 and 50 and um when i got to the register i spent 46 dollars and 89 cents so i got very close and uh, that's always a good thing so you're not surprised when you get to the register the grocery list helps you stay on track of what you're buying and also if you're keeping track of the amount you can stay on budget if you have a budget i don't guess i necessarily have a budget but i just like to um keep track of what i'm spending so if you haven't done so already you can check out the fetch app it is a app where you take a you download the app it's called fetch download the app you take a picture of your receipt and uh, you earn points and as you get you know into like ten thousand is a ten dollar gift card uh fifty thousand is fifty dollars in gift cards so i have um about a month and a half ago reached fifty thousand and so i do have two a twenty five dollar gift cards that i have not spent yet one twenty five dollar gift card for amazon and one for bath and body works which I just was at Bath and Body Works and I didn't even use it. So that wasn't very smart of me. So anyway, if you haven't checked out Fetch, my code is in the description of this video. You can use that code to sign up. You get extra points. I get extra points referring you to, to a Fetch and we both win that way. So even gas receipts, your Lowe's receipts, even a $1 receipt, from the Dollar Tree, make sure you scan them. They're all worth at least 25 points. And then sometimes, you know, they can really add up. I've had receipts that are worth 1500 points. It just depends on what kind of deal they're having with the different um, companies. So make sure you're doing that and earn you some extra cash, some extra gift cards for um, purchases that you're already making. You don't have to purchase anything extra. You just let those points build up and then you can uh, cash them in. So that is it guys. I am really not feeling too well. I think I'm gonna take it easy and I want to, um, when we were on vacation, we went to Concord, Massachusetts and went to the Little Women's House. So I have watched the 
um the the newest little women movie which we went and saw that in the theater and then i watched the 19 um 1994 uh, movie and now i want to go watch the uh black and white the original little women movie so i may do that today and just take it easy get me some allergy medicine and uh, sit down on the couch and kind of take it easy uh, for the rest of the day and see if i can't get these allergies under control uh we we did get through um new england without having allergy problems my niece had brought some allergy medicine so we were taking those i think they're called texas clear and she got those at heb but i couldn't find them today and so i think i have some other allergy medicine so as soon as I got, of course, back to Texas, I have to mow grass. And I, yesterday I was outside um, spraying all the weeds and getting everything cleaned up. So I need a day inside to kind of kick back and relax and get ready for the work week. But if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.